Hey guys, it's Otom here, and welcome back to Nuclear Throne. In this episode, we're probably going to do um, the usual. Just a random run, and then a daily run. Now, should I jump straight into the daily, or should I do a normal run first? You know what? I'm going to be crazy. I'm going to run straight into the daily as YV, and just hope for the best. Because it seems like recently my practice runs have been going better than my actual dailies. So, I feel like if I just jump straight into the daily, it will trick the game into being nice. And, um... I'll be able to get a good run, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. You know, it's not the end of the world if I get a bad run. That's that's the attitude I'm trying to have, because when I have the attitude of it doesn't matter if I fuck up, then usually I play better. Right, we've already got strong spirit, which is, um, you know, straight away. Why are you not dead? Straight away, that is a... Oh, crap. Uh, um, a really good mutation to get, like, especially for the first one, because, you know, you're... Well, actually, you know, it could be bad for me because I might play a bit, a bit more aggressive than usual because of it. But hopefully, it doesn't make too much of a difference. We go oh, out of ammo with the laser pistol. But that's fine. We should get some more. There we go. Holy shit! I could not hit that guy. All right, who we got left? We got some maggots and a rebel left, or a bandit, not a rebel. Rebel is the playable version, not the enemies. Wrench and a grenade launcher. No, they're kind of shit compared to what I've got. Well, maybe not for some people, for, but for me, I would. I don't really like to take uh, the wrench or the grenade launcher. Uh, I'll take bolt marrow just to get ready, because hopefully we'll get a bolt weapon, be it you know a splinter gun, an auto crossbow. Hopefully, anything like that will be very good. Even a regular crossbow like that, for example, is very good. There we go. So now, okay, that's really good that we just took Bolt Marrow and then instantly got a Bolt Weapon. Because that's always good when that happens. But if we get a Splinter Gun or a Splinter Pistol or whatever, then I'll take that over the crossbow. Because it shoots, like, you know, multiple bolts and they'll all lock on. If we get the Super Splinter Gun, then hell yeah, we're taking that straight away. And uh, obviously if we get the Auto Crossbow, we're just going to pick it up and... The build will be uh, complete, as I say, whenever I pick up a little crossbow and then die minutes later. But still. Right, the next thing... Oh, okay. Good start to the sewers. The next thing I'd want is probably second stomach. At this point. I don't... Uh, actually, no. You know what? Probably not second stomach. Maybe rhino skin or scarier face, you know. The classic. Something nice. We've got like three people with that one bolt there. Good thing about YV is he shoots faster than everyone else, like regardless of what you're using. So it's always, you know, it's always nice to play as YV because he just he shoots so fast. All right, what we got? What we got? We got out of these, I'd probably take. So I could take shotgun shells and maybe have a a bolt shell combination, but I should probably take plutonium hunger. Could come in useful in the future, but then again, so could shotgun shoulders. If I take shotgun shoulders, we're making a pretty specific build that might not happen. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's a risk. It is a risk, but it's not the end of the world if we get a bad run. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do what I think is gonna be fun, and hopefully, it will be. Oh my god, I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Oh, okay. That's good. That's really good. Right, that was shells. So that is actually a really good sign, hopefully. It is a bouncer shotgun. Now, I don't know if these are going to bounce more than usual. They already bounce, so I don't actually think it makes a difference. But I'm going to take it for now. Because I do it. I've never really taken it before. And people have told me before that it's pretty good. So I'm going to take it, especially when we've got this much ammo. I don't actually think it uses shells, though. That's the only thing. I think it's actually using bullets. Because I just realized you can only have 55 shells. And it's got 250 shots. So I think it's actually using bullets, but... I'm not going to complain, because it's doing actually a really good job, so. Right, 
I mean, it kind of defeats the purpose oh, of shotgun shoulders a little bit because they already bounce. But I guess, whatever, you know. Ooh, ah! Alright, we'll take. Ah, shoot that! Yes! Ah, I don't think they counted. Scarier face. I'm going to take the double flame shotgun. There we go. Oh, is that an auto shotgun? Or is that the bounce shotgun? That's the bouncer. Okay, if I was an auto shotgun, I was going to pick that shit up right now. <laughs> right, get some double flame shots in there. Is, is he dead? He's not dead. Now he's dead. There we go. All this health and stuff flying towards me. Nice. Ooh, what's this? A regular shotgun. I'll keep the double flame for now. Alright, we should be fine on the crystal caves because, you know, we got, we got a... Ooh, I could take that. I don't know, though. You know, we got lock on, we got a crossbow. We're pretty much saved for the uh, for the caves. Get the double shot off on him. Hopefully, this isn't a mimic. It's not. Oh, oh, uh, not a crossbow. Having a crossbow with bolt marrow in the crystal caves is like the best shit ever because you can just kill the shit out of everyone. You don't even have to hit them dead on. They just most of the time will just die. Even if you shoot left or right of him, it just locks straight on and you're done. Look at that. Level 6, we're all good. And we... Ooh, second stomach or bloodlust. I'll take second stomach. Bloodlust probably was the better option now, thinking about it. But maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. Alright, this is going well so far. Oh, okay. I forgot we had shotgun shoulders for a second. But we're all good. Oh, that was it. Okay. This is going really well. I just can't be moved right now. I say as I walk into it. I probably should have just shot. It's like one, well, two shots. All right. We're all good so far. I'm just a bit worried about fire free because that's usually where things go real bad. Oh, I got hit by a, a random. Okay. Let's not go that way. Let's not go that way. Not yet, anyway. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. That was some insane bullshit. I have no idea I'm alive, to be honest. Oh, the minigun's so good. The minigun is so good. I might have to take that. I don't know what to do. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna take the minigun over the crossbow. It might be crazy. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Because we have bolt marrow. So I'm going to take minigun crossbow and just hope for some ammo basically <laughs> oh this could be where we die because of that <sighs> all right uh we'll take hammerhead because then we can get away from little hunter regardless of where he drops oh there he is ah shit Second stomach coming in with a clutch. He's dead. Alright, there we go. Now we just need to survive the rest of the level with like no stuff. Give me that stuff. Yes, okay. <laughs> Eight bolts might be enough. Unless we miss. You little fucker. Alright, sorry. We've got health. Okay, that was lucky they stopped when they did. It's bad. Come on, bolts. Yes. Bolts, please. Oh! The dream! Oh, oh, crossbow! Oh my god, it's happening. An oh, oh, motherfucking crossbow. 
And a minigun. It could be good. If we get recycled gland, shit is going to go very well. Okay. Alright, we could be good here. This this is a good setup. You know, minigun auto crossbow. I'm certainly not complaining about it. I mean, the ammo is running out pretty quick, but if we could... Oh, come on, man. That didn't hit me. An auto flame shotgun. I might... Ah, shoot that. Ah, so close. Alright, you know what? I'm going to take this for a second. Oh, crap. Okay, this could be bad. We need to get some health if we can. The dog, the dog, the dog! Oh my fucking god. That was the scariest shit I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. You know, maybe the minigun is a better choice. We'll, we'll take the minigun back. Or is it though? I don't, I don't know actually. No, I think the minigun's probably better. I don't know. I want to bring both. Oh, I really don't know. You know what? I've never used an auto flame shotgun on the throne. So I'm going to. I'm going to do it. Unless this is better, of course. Ooh, I think that might be better. For the throne, it's probably better. I think it's like... With scarier face, I think it's like two shots for the generators. Oh, it's such a hard decision. You know what? I'm going to take the Heavy Slugger. I don't think it's very good for a loop, but we have an auto crossbow, so we should be fine. It's going to be really good for the generators. Oh, and we've got Bloodlust. Okay. Okay. I mean, oh, we're not even on the throne yet. I just realized. Oh, no! Why? Why? Just why did that have to happen? Oh, my God. We were so done. We were so, we were so fixed. Something tells me that might be a glitch. Loop 3730 kills may be a glitch. But anyway, that is the daily done. I might actually leave it there for today. I know usually I do like longer episodes, but 15 minutes is probably enough. I know it's like half the time, but usually I do like, I usually die and then get a decent run. But anyway, as you guys probably know by now, if I get top 1,000 in the world on the daily, I'm a happy man. And I just got top 500, so I'm a double happy man. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> See, I'm so happy I'm burping. But no, top 1,000, I'm happy. We got top 500, so I'm double happy. But yeah, could have been a bit better. I thought, for some reason, I thought we was on the throne. So I sort of, I came in and got taken by surprise. I was like, oh shit, we're not on the throne. And then that fucking guy got like, with the, you know, 100% accuracy aimbot, just fucking one-shotted us. Wait, we had strong spirit. We had strong spirit. Why did that kill us? I'm going to have to watch that back afterwards. We had strong spirit. Surely that shouldn't have killed us. Because I don't think I ever got in a situation where I should have been dead and strong spirit saved me. So therefore we still should have had it and that shouldn't have killed us. But I don't know. Maybe the dog touched us and I didn't realise. But anyway, top 500, I'm happy with that. And uh, But I am going to leave it there for today. I know usually I do like half an hour episodes. But that's usually because I end up dying on like free free. And then I start up another run and get to where I just got to. So... You know, usually I'd get to free free in like five or ten minutes, probably more like five minutes, and then I would start up another run and do like I just did, or you know, get to the throne. Basically, you know, I usually have a shit run and then a run like that one just then, but usually, you know, a little bit better, usually loop or something. And um, yeah, but there you go. So I'm just gonna be leaving it there for today because I feel like if I start up another run and I do really well. It's going to be like 20 minutes and then I, this video is going to be like 45 minutes long. It's going to be too long. And it's already going to be too long for me blabbing. So that will be it for today. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below or subscribe to the channel for more videos. There will be more Nuclear Throne as well as other indie and horror games too. Any other stuff to appreciate. And I'll be a super best friend if you do any of it. And yeah, so again, thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video. And goodbye.